the new Anderson Manufacturing Kiger. Let's check it out. Anderson Manufacturing is known for its AR-15s. In fact, a lot of guys buy their parts for builds. They have a very reasonable price, and yet it's good quality. All made in the USA, they've been in business for over 30 years. But they're now offering their Kiger, and this is a 9mm pistol. It's new for Anderson Manufacturing, and it accepts your standard Glock Gen 3 magazines. It comes with a PMAG, which is 15 plus 1, uh, similar to the size of your Glock 19 and it's compatible with all Gen 3 parts. Now we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting us together with Anderson Manufacturing. Uh, again, they are really known for their AR-15s and so I was really wanting to take a look at the new Kiger pistol. Well, here we have the Anderson Manufacturing Kiger 9C. Uh, it's a 9mm pistol, striker fire, of course it's still slide and barrel. Uh, one of the things about these pistols is they use the Glock mags. Let's go ahead and make sure the gun's unloaded. This is a, a P-Mag 9mm, but it is also Glock compatible. It comes with one magazine. Uh, check the chamber, and the gun is empty. Now, one of the things about uh, these type pistols uh, is that there is a lot of advancements over the original Glock if this is what you like because there are a lot of things they're doing to these that are really upgrading the original pistol and so they're very appealing and yet they take all the Glock Gen 3 parts uh, you know anything you have in here and one thing that I love about the Glock design is that it is very simple uh, to the point that I can change everything out in this pistol uh, just being a layman and that's one of the big pluses for the Glock it's a simple gun and I like simple and the simpler it is, it seems like the more reliable it is. And so we're going to have the same type reliability because of the simplicity. Uh, now, the one thing I love, though, about this pistol is that it has that 1911 grip angle. So it has a straight grip angle, not the hump. The texturing on here is excellent. I mean, the side panels are very well done. The front and back serrations... Uh, the grip serrations are just linear, which make it really nice to be able to uh, get a good solid grip. When the gun is recoiling, those lines really hold in your hand. And you'll notice this little beaver tail area that's really nice. I mean, it comes up to give you a very high ride on the grip, which, with the bore axis being so low, uh, it really helps to mitigate recoil. Now, you'll see we have a blacked out rear sight. And we have just a white dot at the front. And a lot of people are going to that contrast. Uh, of course, these are Glock compatible sights. So you can put on here night sights, fiber optic, whatever you want to. And so it gives you a lot of options. But they are polymer, very similar to the Glock. But uh, again, we can switch these out if we want to. Now we have some relief cuts at the top of the slide, which makes it nice. We have bevels along the side of the slide right here at the angles. So uh, it gives it a little more of a trim look to it. And then we have relief cuts here in the side. Uh, and of course, obviously, on the other side. But one of the things about this particular pistol is these angled uh, serrations that are on the slide. And they're directional. So as I grab them, uh, I, they just pull back really easily. Front serrations, very ample. It's not just an afterthought. And yet it matches both the front and rear. Um, of course, we have a four-slot Picatinny rail, and this is going to give you a lot of options for lights and lasers. 
uh, going back to the grip, because I think this is a very important part, is right here is a memory pad. So when I finish firing, I always put my finger right about here. And this gets it clear of the trigger. It's just a place that I always put it, and that's a safety factor. Now we have a small little ledge right here and the texturing. So as I take a two-handed grip and I rest my thumb right here on that ledge, and that will help mitigate recoil. But also, we have a little memory pad here. So as I grip it, it gives me a two-finger firm grip on the pistol, which I've never really seen it this way as far as the texturing that allows for that thumb to come up and then your thumb here. So it gives you a really nice, solid, high-ride grip on it, and yet you've got the pistol firmly gripped in your hand. And, and one of the things about it, guys, is the more that you have a good, solid grip and the higher that you get up on the bore. Uh, the more that recoil is mitigated and that is a big plus because that gets your second and third follow-up shots back online really quick right here with the takedown lever because of that memory pad you have a little more room to get to your takedown lever and so that's also a plus uh, here we have the uh, fence around your uh, slide stop and so it but it's all textured all the way around so that keeps you from riding up and inadvertently hitting the slide stop really on this style slide stop you're not going to necessarily hit that slide stop after the last round but it gives you the same features on the other side if you are left-handed and then right in this area is fairly smooth where you put your hand and you just wrap it up so uh, just a very well designed grip the slide and the barrel are DLC coated, really black nitride finish on it that really holds up. We have cuts here at the front, and then we have a really nice bevel right here in the barrel, which is used for a crown. Uh, and one of the things about a crown is that if your barrel comes all the way out and you nick the edge, it can't affect accuracy. So this is really deep. I really like that crown. But the slide is a billet stainless steel slide. So it's cut from one piece of bar stock. And uh, then you have the DLC coating, which is gonna give this very good uh, corrosion resistance. It's gonna be impervious to the elements. The barrel is 3.91 inches. It is in the Gen 5 Glock style, which means it's more of their marksman barrel, which still has polygonal grooves. Here we have Kiger 9C with the Anderson Manufacturing Maverick right here. Uh, but pretty much that is all the markings, which I like. I like to have kind of a minimalist kind of look to it. Uh, but to me, honestly, this pistol has a very nice fit and finish to it. Now your mags will be drop free and we have a slight bevel right here in the mag well. So it allows you to get those magazines up in there really easily. Uh, we have a small little gap here to be able to take those mags. And if we have a malfunction where the mag is jammed in here, we can just pull it out. Uh, one thing, too, that I thought was kind of unique is that in the magwell, they have debris channels. And this allows for any kind of debris that gets up in here just to fall out with the mag. It's not going to jam it into the magwell. So it has a lot of upgraded features all the way through the pistol. Now, obviously, the Gen 3 Glock was the inspiration. Uh, Gen 3s, the patent has expired. So that's why we're seeing a lot of companies coming in and designing pistols that are based on that design. And again, the simplicity is the big deal here. Uh, with a lot of other pistols, you know, they're just as reliable. I mean, they're great pistols, but you start getting into the internals and they're very complicated. Uh, with the Gen 3, I mean, this is a Glock 19, and it's pretty much the same size, but actually maybe just a little bit longer in the slide. Uh, but you just have that full metal Glock slide. With this, it's full metal, but it has a lot of cuts, and this is going to relieve the weight. So it's going to allow it to fire with just less slide mass coming back in your hand. Also, the grips... There's no finger grooves like on the Gen 3. You don't have the Gen 3 hump, which is really the Glock hump because a lot of different Glocks retain this. Uh, very smooth on the sides here. Uh, and so you're getting some really good advantages with this frame. It's funny, a lot of guys will buy their Glocks and then they'll take them and they'll completely transform them. And so they pay the price of the Glock and then pay hundreds, maybe even thousand dollars to have this upgraded with slide cuts, um, you know, taking the texturing and taking it to another level and all the other features that, that you're going to get standard with this type pistol. And I think that is one of the big pluses for these. Weight on the Kiger 9C. One pound, six ounces. 
Weight on the Glock 19 Gen 3. One pound, 7.8 ounces. So we have a little bit of reduction in the slide to make it a little bit lighter. Now the magazine release is a standard Glock 3 mag release, so you're not going to be able to switch that to the other side. Uh, but you do have a really nice undercut at your trigger guard. And that's one of the things about Glock Knuckle. With that little, uh, without the undercut, you get your finger up under here and it does wear on it. With this undercut, it's a more natural grip. And I typically do that to most of my Glocks. This is already done. Uh, with the trigger guard itself here, I mean, you have some serrations that go here and you have some little pads to be able to use it according to your style of shooting. So um, again, just unique, but yet purposeful. Now, since the Kiger has just been introduced, there's no optics plate. I'm sure that will be coming uh, because so many different companies are going to optics on their handguns. Now we have a Glock style trigger, has the uh, trigger safety, and you'll notice at the rear that when you engage this safety, that it unlocks. But unless you hit that safety, you're not going to inadvertently pull the trigger. This is a safety feature with these kind of striker fire pistols. We're going to take a look at the trigger pull action. So we have some take up. Not bad. We hit a wall. A little resistance. But a nice break. It's not the mushy break typically you find with the Glock. Uh, and then we're going to do a reset right there. Not a bad trigger. Check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Five pounds, 2.7 ounces. Five pounds, 7.1 ounce. Just a little under five and a half pounds. Uh, Anderson states that it does come in at five and a half pounds. We really appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, all made in the USA. One of the largest suppliers of ammunition in the country. Uh, typically, we have our Lula loaders, uh, but I took them out, unfortunately, and so we'll, <laughs> we'll load them by hand, the old-fashioned way. It's funny, I, I've been noticing and Anderson Manufacturing lowers AR-15s. They come in really a, at a budget price. So didn't really know what to expect with the Kiger. I love the texturing. Very nice in your hand. Uh, it's a, it is aggressive. Uh, you, you know you've got a grip on it. Uh, it's not so smooth. Uh, the undercut on the trigger guard is excellent. Keeps you from that Glock knuckle. But, you know, overall, I mean, it shoots like a Glock. It's been flawless so far. Real nice cocking serrations. Uh, but overall, uh, shoots very nice. I like that pad at the front, that memory pad, and it does have a small little ledge. So I can put my finger on there, and when I shoot, it helps, because the first round that I shot, I didn't use that. So you can see that it definitely keeps that muzzle down. It gives you more leverage on the firearm. Uh, and I like that they're doing that. So overall, I mean, it's been a great little gun. And when it comes to disassembly, we're gonna drop our magazine, check the chamber. Uh, go ahead and pull the trigger, pull back on the slide about an eighth of an inch, and pull down on your takedown tabs. This just allows the slide to come right off. Recoil spring, guide rod, it is a polymer guide rod. Barrel, again, 3.91 inches. Uh, it is a DLC coating. Man, I love that crown. I mean, that's just beautiful. Nice feed ramp. Uh, definitely Glock compatible. And of course, we see the inside, well done. Uh, you know, it's a little dirty, obviously, from uh, shooting. But um, we have our firing pin or striker safety right here. Here's your striker. Same features you're going to get with your standard Gen 3 type pistol. Here we have the frame and slide rails are actually embedded into the polymer. But definitely all the same as your striker fire Gen 3 system. And guys, that's all you need to do to field strip uh, for reassembly. Just drop in your barrel recoil spring and guide rod and put it back over your slide racket test for function 
and we're good to go. Now it comes in this box, of course, with the Anderson Manufacturing logo. You get the pistol and you get a pistol case, which I think is really nice. Uh, you also get a lock and you get a sticker, which, you know, you get the normal things that you get with your standard pistols. But this little case, very well done. Dual zippers, open it up, really soft padding. You have a place for really extra mags. You'll keep your standard mag in here. And so this gives you just a little bit of a pocket. It's really soft material. Uh, these are the kind of pouches that I will use. I'm not going to use the box. Now the retail price for the Kyger 9C is $429, which is coming in at a really reasonable price. Market price is going to be less. So we'll see how that goes uh, at your local gun shop. But to me, an excellent option that takes all your Glock Gen 3 parts so it, and just the simplicity of the Glock system which really makes this a very appealing option. Again, these have just been introduced, so they will be hitting the market coming up. So if you're looking for that Gen 3 reliability, and yet with a lot of upgraded features, I think taking a look at the Kyger 9C uh, is a great option. Because pros and cons, to be honest, guys, I mean, it's a pretty much a pro all the way around. I mean, there's nothing here that takes away, minus the Glock, but it adds a lot of features to it that really improve it. Improves the shootability, improves your grip. Honestly, when they first said they were sending something from Anderson Manufacturing, I was just figuring an AR-15. This was a surprise. After going to the range, this was a pleasant surprise. So while Anderson Manufacturing has been producing AR-15s that are really good quality at a budget price, uh, I really like when companies kind of take it to the next level and produce other firearms. So really, I didn't know what to expect when I got the Kyger pistol, but guys at the range, I was very impressed. Great price point, and yet takes all your Glock parts and Glock magazines. And guys, we really appreciate GetZone.com for connecting us with Anderson Manufacturing. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. actually has and it carries the when you're gripping the pistol your thumb rest now it does have drop free mag about it you're just gonna get all of your Glock Gen 3 parts and a lot of guys have built Anderson no 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 no